Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is good. So essentially what happens is this in this game of life. Initially, we get these exciting inspirations, right? We feel the joy of energy that is showing us the way, right? We all of a sudden have clarity. We feel like we're on purpose. We feel like going, things are going the right way, right? We get this download and it just feels totally aligned with our spirit, that three of wands, that feeling of like things are aligning, uh, our fruits are, of our labor are coming to fruition, right? Our ships are coming to sail, like good things are coming in. I feel it. Everything energetically feels good, right? This is kind of how things start. Right, that King of Swords, you're feeling clear, you're feeling like you're in alignment with your truth, right? And it could be a person, it could be a right, new relationship, it could be a career, it could be an idea, it could be a business plan, right? You're just like, oh, this is it, right? And then, and then, as life experiences go underway, all of a sudden, things aren't quite feeling as confident as they once were. We're starting to really recognize that our physical world is not showing us what we're feeling inside of us. And because our conditioning is to look at the outer world, right? Here's my job. Here's my family. Here's my childhood. Here's my name. Here's who I am. Here's all my emotions, right? We're like used to attaching to everything. The difficulty is, is that when internally we feel really good about something, we have a, a, a tendency to want to see the validation of it instantly, right? Instant validation. Um, but when we don't see the instant validation, we start to lose confidence in ourselves, right? We start to lose that, that feeling that everything is going okay. That queen of wands in reverse is, is that lack of confidence going, that energy dipping. And then we don't no longer have the same inspiration to take action on things, right? This happens all the time. It's like when you start the gym routine, when you start um, a new diet routine, at first it's really exciting. You're like, I feel this, I'm, I'm guided, I'm pulled. But then all of a sudden when we do it for a week, two weeks, we're really feeling as excited. Now, this is not because what you're doing is the wrong thing. This is merely because what you're doing, you've started the first. See, that's what the spirit does is they guide you, right? So, hey, this is good for you. Do this, incorporate this in your life. Yes. And you're like, oh, hell yes, this feels great. And then you jump into it and you start doing it for a while. And you're like, okay, this is feeling good. And when it's not feeling confident and when you're not feeling good and you're starting to get distracted by the outer world and you're starting to get distracted and unfocused, it means that whatever it is that you're not doing, it's either not simple enough or it's not fun enough or it's not both in order to maintain sustainability it has to be simple and it's got to be fun right so it's got to be easy enough that you want to show up every day right simple maybe not necessarily easy but simple um and and it's got to have fun it's got to be fun for you right and so whenever you are feeling that confidence dip and that energy start to lower, it means that you got to look at it now with a little more nurture. It means you got to tend to it a little bit more, right? And as a matter of fact, here we have tend to the small things. So again, the small things means it's like um, the, the subtle energies that you're being nudged and called towards or when things don't feel energetically good for you, right? It means that you've just got to take a look at that and again, um, uh, look at it a little bit more with a state of, is this really what you want to be doing? And it doesn't mean that what you're doing is not the right thing. Let's say you start a gym routine, right? And at first you go to the gym and you're lifting the weights and maybe you're following a routine and you're like, you know, at first it's exciting. And then after a while, you're like, this isn't really fun. I'm not really excited to go. My body hurts. Like, this isn't great. So it just means like, maybe there's something else. Maybe there's a different style of workout that you'd find more exciting, right? Maybe, maybe like Zumba or like, uh, uh, maybe hit training or maybe, you know, um, a little more fast paced, you know, where you're in there, maybe, maybe like quicker and then, uh, faster workouts, you know what I mean? 10 minute workouts, 15 minute workouts, 12 minute workouts. Like maybe that would be better than like an hour of weights. You know what I mean? Like there's always ways you can take and spin it. But again, it's got to be simple and it's got to be fun for you. So your affirmation for the day, beautiful souls, it didn't work out and that's a beautiful thing. It didn't work out and that's a beautiful thing. It is because the thing is, is that again, we're, the guidance from spirit comes in those little moments of like, those moments of like, this feels really good. And then when it all of a sudden starts to dip, your confidence starts to dip, it's because now spirit's pointing you in the direction of something else. So this is where you would want to pivot your energy. This is where you would want to have multiple things you do in your life so that when something is starting to dip and you're like, you know what? This isn't energetically feeling as fun and it's not feeling sustainable because I don't really want to go. So you know what? I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let spirit guide me into the next phase of this particular 
you know, thing I'm doing, which they will guide you into, but you can't be focused on trying to fix it in order to get the answers. So you'd be like, you know what? I was going to the gym and it was feeling really good and energetically it's not really feeling that great. And I'm not really wanting to go. So you know what? I know that there's something better out there, out there for me. I know there's a better uh, exercise routine for me that's more sustainable. Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited. I'm eager. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, let me go and, you know, go for a walk, take care of my pets, um, you know, take care of my spouse, you know, do this thing, focus on what I love, read a book, you know, whatever it is, but you pivot the energy then. So you ask, it's always given, but not when you stay there dwelling in the energy of it doesn't feel good. I really want to do this. I'm missing out. Yeah. Anytime you tell yourself I should be doing this, that's exactly when you should not be doing that. You should let that go. Good news is you're again, always being guided into new paths and the new path that you're looking for is here with that two of wands, but it's going to be a journey that you've never gone through down before, right? It's going to be something that's going to come forward. That is going to be introduced to you. Now, it doesn't mean that you've never not experienced it before because the universe will always plant seeds. So when I got into tarot, I had already used tarot my entire life because I had been gifted a deck when I was in my, uh, when I was in high school, I was doing reads with my friends for their boyfriends and girlfriends. Um, and then I had a, another tarot deck along the line in my early twenties, you know, had a profound reading when I was in my when I was like 19 or something and it was just like I was always kind of in my life dabbled I went and got an energy really how I even got into this field even altogether as I went and got uh, energy healing done an energy healing session Um, and then the girl who was doing it looked at me and she was like you know you have you do this too right you know you're connected as well right you have the same intuition as I do and I was like at the time I was like what I do, right? It was like this big thing. It was like this huge moment for me because all I ever wanted to do was talk to my grandpa who passed away as my best friend. And really that's all I wanted, right? I wanted to connect to my lost ones who I loved and I missed so much. And I wanted to know there was something more and that was given to me, right? So, but it was gifted through just the process of following what I wanted to do, right? So you just got to follow what you want to do. You just want to follow the nudges because it's going to lead you to something so glorious and so amazing. And you really just, just don't even know what that's going to be. But if something doesn't work out, I promise you it's a beautiful thing because not it wasn't where you were supposed to stay. It's not like you're supposed to just start it and then stop there. It just means that was the first introduction, right? And then when it's not feeling good, you're just like, okay, not feeling good. And even when we're not more not feeling sustainable and fun for me, so I could tell that there's something else waiting better, right? So universe, gift me, guide me, love you, thank you. In the meantime, I'm going to go do this, right? Do something else that's fun. But the name of the game is to always keep your frequency high. And so now is the time for celebration, beautiful soul. Celebrate the wins, celebrate the losses, celebrate life. Because what that will do is it will keep you nice and grounded here on planet Earth. It'll keep you understanding that you're always where you're supposed to be. And whether or not you think you fail or whether or not you think you're right or whether or not you think it's this or that, always know that no matter what, you are being guided towards your greatest abundance. So to keep your mindset in a place of connection is always going to be where you want to be. No matter what, you're being guided into further forms of connection and you are always connected, but celebration, gratitude, love, and enjoyment of the, of the process is going to keep you there. But you know, right now we're asking you to just pay attention to the little things that you want to do for yourself, nurturing yourself, nourishing yourself, whatever we nurture, we grow, right? So that's why you want to nurture the seeds that you're planting in your life. And if something doesn't feel good for you, if it feels like negative or if it feels um, painful, if it feels like it's suffering every day, you're waking up suffering, going to the gym, suffering, being around your relationship, suffering, going to work, right? It means that in there is, is something you want to address. You want to realize, you know what? Uh uh-uh, I'm not doing this anymore. This doesn't feel good for me. And I deserve to have feel fun, feel excited. And I deserve to have fun in this life. And it deserves, I deserve to, um, you know, enjoy this process. And uh, this is my creation. This is my creation. So why am I suffering in my creation? You know, so when something that just doesn't feel to be seem to be flowing cancer, you just want to take a, you just want to ask spirit to guide you. And you want to let go of trying to be the one to figure out what spirit's trying to tell you. You just simply want to understand that the feeling, the energetic feeling of celebration is what guides you. The energetic feeling of joy, of excitement. But if you're fixated on why it's not feeling excited or that I used to feel excited, it's not feeling excited anymore, then you're not going to feel excitement because you're focusing on the fact that it's not exciting. Does that make sense? So you want to let it go. Um, Ooh, interesting. So your universe message today is love doesn't have to mean near. So universe says some are better loved at a distance for a while. Then that's okay. Besides love doesn't really know the difference. So anytime, anytime that you want to do something, anytime that you love something, you want something, you want something so bad, right? 
love it from afar knowing that it's coming in, right? Celebrate the win even though it might not show up in the physical world because just the fact that you want it means it's already been asked for from the universe. You've just got to kick back and follow the feeling of joy and celebration in your energy body. And if it doesn't feel like joy and celebration, if it doesn't feel like fun and sustainable and simple, simple being the key word because if it's not simple, it won't be fun because oh, too much energy is being projected into it, right? So simple, fun, excitement, celebration, then what's going to happen is you're going to realize I already have everything that I ever wanted. And all I'm doing right now is letting the universe guide me right into it. It's already mine though. You're basically like, you want to get to the, the, you want to get to the fun water park and you're at the top of the slide. Well, all you, all you're doing right now is sliding down the slide, right? And that feeling of effortless, that feeling of, of swimming downstream, that feeling of, of joy, it just, you ride the wave, right? And you just, you ride the slide, you go all the way down to the magical, you know, pool where everyone's waiting for your river or whatever it is, right? And, and that's it, right to your abundance. But if you feel like you're holding on to the top of the slide saying, I can't go, I can't go. It doesn't feel right. Well, you just got to understand that your creations are your creations. So have them feel right for you by putting your sparkle, by doing it the way you want to do it. And maybe that means saying, you know what? I'm just going to let go and surrender and let spirit take me, you know? And sometimes that's the easiest way to do it. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.